The purpose of this video and the subsequent videos which will follow have to do with the questions which have been posed to us from new calendars who are friendly towards us, who are asking about our canonicity and who we are and so on and so forth. So I'm going to try to answer these questions. I can't do it all in one video. I don't have enough time, but God willing, we'll be able to um, answer them incrementally, periodically, so that you'll be able to have a clear and more concise understanding of who the GOC is. I want to start off by saying that we have no insecurities about who we are. We know that we are in the church. Um, saint John the Romanian was another saint who was accepted by the Romanian Patriarchate and was also accepted by us. And perhaps we can categorize th these saints as the first category would be your saints, the second would be the saints that we share, and the third would be our saints. So. Let's start off by talking about your saints. Um, besides Elder Cleopa, of course, you have other elders. Um, and I think it's important to note that some people, high-ranking people in the New Calendar Church, a bishop, I'm thinking of a bishop in particular, um, came out with a warning not too long ago saying that too many people are putting words in Elder, uh, Elder Paisius' mouth, things that he probably didn't say. You know, people like to add salt and pepper into their stories, and so I really don't know what is true, what is not true, especially when it comes to these, um, so many people make so many different claims. There are articles and videos out about some of these uh, elders. But I, I can say, and again, just for the record, that some of our own people have met Elder Paisios, and uh, I know that someone el uh, some met Elder Porfirios. Um, <clears throat> and some of them went with the purpose of actually asking, are we okay where we are? I'm thinking of now a couple of clergymen. Uh, we have some lay people who are witnesses uh, together with the clergy. And one clergyman went and asked Elder Paisios, I'm an old calendar's priest. Uh, I'm with the GOC, am I okay? Do I need to leave? And he, and he told him, no, you don't need to leave, just don't be a fanatic. Um, he did say, don't believe that we, that is the new calendars, don't have grace. But he didn't say, you have to leave. Uh, this seems to be common, because what happens is, perhaps they're speaking to different people and saying different things to di different people. Uh, I don't know. But I do know, the witnesses that we have, and again, you know, for us, we we feel that we have absolutely no problem with our canonicity. Um, <clears throat> Saint John the Romanian uh, went to the Holy Mountain of Athos, and then he went to Jerusalem because the Jerusalem Patriarchate was under the old calendar. And in fact, the Jerusalem Patriarchate pretty much supported the old calendars, and perhaps even felt like they were somewhat in communion with the old calendar, just like how they were with Rokor, um, up until Patriarch Irenaeus, who was the last one before Theophilus. Uh, the present Patriarch, I remember, I met when I was a teenager in Cana of Galilee, and he certainly was not uh, from the same mentality of these others. In fact, Patriarch Diodorus one time went to Greece and he went directly to the monastery of St. Cyprian and Justina and uh, the, the official New Calendar Church of Greece was upset with him and he never went back to Greece after that. Um, this, again, this is just for your information. Uh, about uh, St. John the Romanian, so he went to Jerusalem because Jerusalem was followed the old calendar and many zealots went to Jerusalem because of this support with the, which the Jerusalem Patriarch had had uh, towards the uh, Greek um, GOC, the so-called Old Calendars of Greece. And, uh, he, but he was on the side of the so-called Old Calendars. He believed what we believe. And it's an unfortunate fact that 
a lot of the modern lives of St. John the Romanian don't have this information. But I can share with you something, <clears throat> and something from Orthodox Life, which is the periodical of Jordanville, printed in 1984, volume 35, 5 September, October edition, pages 16 to 30. It's about the life of St. John the Romanian. And here it talks about how um, he really felt strongly about the change of the calendar. He, he didn't accept the new calendar. And not only did he not accept the new calendar, he refused to celebrate with people who follow the new calendar, which would mean Basically, he wouldn't celebrate, he would not celebrate with Elder Cleopa. So, of course, some people are going to say, well, he was still a part of the canonical church and so on and so forth. Okay, but he's saying something quite different from what you are saying. And of course, this is being addressed now to our, to the people who are asking this, this question. Um, and he, it says here, after some time, the patriarch Nicodem passed away, and according to tradition, all Orthodox patriarchs were to offer 40 days of memorial services. When the Patriarch of Jerusalem also was to offer a Panahida, Archimandrite Victorine called on Father John to take part in it. He did not go, however, because Patriarch Nicodem had persecuted those who f continued to follow the truly Orthodox calendar, which would mean our sister church in Romania. Um, in other words, he supported St. Licheri, our St. Licheri, who was a wonder worker and a, a great man, ascetic in Romania. So, St. John Maximovich, St. Philaret, and St. John the Romanian are all incorrupt. Their relics are incorrupt as a sign of their sanctity, and none of them ever considered us schismatics. In fact, they said quite the opposite.